welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys already didn't know, my name is Morgan and today I'm going to be starting one of my channel series that um, I want to start. So the it's going to be a waffle making series. So if you guys didn't know, I got a waffle maker for Christmas. Um, I'll, link, I'll go ahead and link what I got for my Christmas up over here somewhere. So there's a bunch of different recipes that this waffle maker came with. I've already made two. So I decided to start with the first one, which is called the Classic Waffles. Um, it's really simple. All you need is a cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, half one, oh, <laughs> a fourth teaspoon of salt, one egg, one cup of milk, and two tablespoons of melted butter or vegetable oil. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if you can replace the egg in this recipe and the milk. Um, so, I'm not sure about that. So, yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have my bowl here, which we're going to combine the ingredients in. But really quickly, before we measure the ingredients, I want to show you guys the proper way to measure your flour when you're baking or just generally cooking. Okay. So this recipe calls for a cup of flour. So this is, I believe this is my flour. This is my flour right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my measuring cup. So it says one cup somewhere, if you guys can see. Okay, the improper way is to go ahead and dig into it and then level it and then just like put it in your bowl. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take a spoon and you're just going to simply fill the measuring cup with your flour, like so. So I'm gonna do this with you guys and then next time that I make a baking video or something, you guys know how to properly measure flour. Um, I am going to also, in the future of this year, upload and post some uh, kitchen tips and baking and cooking tips so definitely stay tuned for that so you guys can watch those okay so we have our cup of flour right here measured so we're gonna go ahead and add that to our bowl I'm gonna sift sift my flour because I find that if I don't sift it it just doesn't there's just clumps of flour or, or whatever at the end. So I'm going to sift my flour. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to mix all our dry ingredients. So you're going to mix in your flour with your tablespoon of sugar, your baking powder. So that's two teaspoons of baking powder and your salt. So I'm going to sift that and then I'll come back. All right. So once you're done sifting, like I, if you sift it like I did, it should look kind of fluffy. Now, after that, we're going to take a whisk and we're just going to whisk all of it together like so. Alright, so once everything is whisked and combined, we're going to add in our egg. So add in your egg your milk so your cup of milk um your cup of milk and your melted butter or vegetable oil like so so my you guys can't see but my waffle maker is heating up right now so just go ahead and kind of combine all of your stuff together with your whisk. Okay, I also forgot that I was gonna add a little bit of vanilla because I find that they're just not like not a strong flavor. It doesn't call for vanilla, it's optional. I mean, it's just my little bit of my special ingredient that I add. Alright. So it should look like a thick 
batter like so and I'm gonna come back once I'm ready to cook my waffles alrighty so my waffle maker is all heated up I have my batter right here and now I'm going to very 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 carefully put my waffle maker it is very hot I'm not sure if it's picking up the steam on camera but yeah so go ahead and in the distance spray a little bit of cooking oil or just regular Pam or canola oil and the directions say to take a fourth a fourth cup of measuring and take a little bit and just add it right into the center like so and then I'm just gonna try to cover like all these little spots right here so we can get a nice cooked pan I mean pancake waffle so let's go ahead and let that cook until it's golden brown and just repeat repeat with the rest of your waffle batter and yeah and I'll come back when all of those are done so it's literally been less than what like 10 minutes since I last filmed um so I'm currently cooking my second waffle and let's just say not to fill your entire measuring cup with all the batter just try to do maybe about like a little less like three-fourths um so this is what happened sorry the lighting's not good but like all that batter is like dropping and then I, like it's literally cooking on the sides there um yeah that's gonna be a nice mess to clean up later alrighty guys so I was able to make about eight waffles obviously that's not the entire dinner I'm still gonna cook some eggs and probably either bacon or sausage um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys get to make this recipe. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and also turn your post notifications on. And also follow me on Instagram. And remember that I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!